let's let's assume that the sales order now was confirmed and now our warehouse team is going to fulfill the sales order to the customer right so mm -hmm. you have you can see that there is this fulfill button over here you can fulfill this from here simply by okay. clicking on the sales order or you can go in transactions mm -hmm. sales uh sorry on the order management and here you have fulfill orders so you can go from here as well like if i go from here Again, my sales order number is 1258. Okay, so here on this page, you know, you can see all the orders that needs to be fulfilled. You can, you know, uh, uh, filter them by, by customer. So let's say I want to fulfill right now my Samsung customer. Find Samsung over here. Okay, so for some reason it's not showing up over here, but uh, let's say, okay, all right, I think the date, it's it's the date issue. Okay. All right, uh, but again, you know, the, the idea here is just to show you that uh, on this page, fulfill orders, you can see all the sales orders that needs to be fulfilled, all right? And uh, you know your warehouse team or the warehouse manager would be able to identify all those sales order. You, you can filter them by different filter criteria over here based on the date, posting period, customer, transaction, and uh, location from which it needs to be fulfilled. So, you know, uh, these are also, uh, this is actually another navigation that you can use to fulfill your sales order. So okay. just FII, okay. And I'm just gonna go back on my sales order one two five eight. I'm gonna click on fulfill, and it is again going to take me to the same screen uh, which this screen would take. So if I click on fulfill, mm -hmm. you will notice that both these screens are gonna be the same. So yeah. again, you know, same uh, same uh, process but different navigation. You see, the site of shipment page was opened here. And here also the same item shipment page is 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 just loading up. Okay, so this is basically uh, opening up yeah. my item shipment page. All right, and here also you will notice that the same page opened. So it, it's important to know the different navigations, but again, that's fine. Uh, so you will notice that this is basically my item shipment or you can also call it item fulfillment. Right, uh, it's just the same uh, same uh, name, or I would say different names for the same transaction in NetSuite. Uh, but the idea here is that we are trying now to fulfill this uh, item to the customer, and this is the transaction that mm -hmm. the warehouse team is going to make. So, the item fulfillment or item shipment is the the first stage that you will do in the fulfillment process. And notice that there are multiple statuses over here, so you can do your fulfillment in three steps. And again, very important from business perspective. Some businesses would first pick up the goods from their warehouse location, then they would pack them and then finally ship them, right? So it's a three-step process. You would first yeah. go in your warehouse and do the picking. Once the item is picked, uh, another person would be packing the goods in, in some carton or pallet or whatever. And then once it is packed, then the third person would be shipping it via truck or FedEx, UPS or whatever. So fulfillment uh, is, mm -hmm. is or item shipment is basically in three steps. So let's see how these three steps would work. So let's say I did pick my goods and I'm setting the status to pa picked first right now, meaning that my uh, picker went into the warehouse, found, found uh, the, the goods in my warehouse and picked them up and you know uh, put them in any staging area on my uh, warehouse location. So yes. the picker would, would set the status to picked select the item he found this item 57891 in my san francisco us location and he also needs to provide some inventory detail here which is perhaps the status all right so yeah these are in all good status uh, i have 913 available and out of that i'm going to pick up 10 goods i'm going to find this as uh, and select okay and once I have verified this information, once the picker has verified this information, he's simply just going to click on save.
and now you will notice that this item shipment or item fulfillment is in picked status you see this is in picked status this has not been shipped yet and if I go back on my sales order really quick, just to show you how the status is updated. It is still in pending fulfillment, meaning that we have not fulfilled this to the customer yet. Right? We have just internally picked this item. And here you can see yes. that this item is right now in picked status. It is not packed, it is not fulfilled or invoiced. It's just picked right now. Okay. okay. So, so this is basically the first step. Now this is giving the visibility to the sales team that this item has been picked by the warehouse team. Now the next step in the warehouse would be after the picking, they would be packing the goods because you cannot just right away send the goods to the customer. You have to pack them either in some, some sort of a packet or package or perhaps a carton or maybe a pallet if it's a very large item. So once that packing is done, the warehouse team would just mark this as packed. So once they have done the package, they will perhaps e edit this and provide the package details. So here you have your package details. So in NetSuite, you can also capture all the packaging details and the tracking number uh, for this package. So here you can pro provide the, the, the weight of the package, let's say two pounds package content description again you know these are all shipping related package information and your package tracking number so this is this is maybe your fedex ups usps dhl whatever uh, you uh, method you are using you will get a tracking number for that as well so you can enter the tracking number of the package and you can add that detail over here okay and now okay. we will change the status to packed because now this item has been packed in a physical carton and I'm gonna mark this as packed. And once this is done, I'm gonna simply save this. <clears throat> now notice that the status of this fulfillment is packed. And if I go back on my sales order, you know, this is gonna be also visible on my sales order screen that this, sales order has been packed again this is pending fulfillment we have not shipped the goods yet and you will notice that the item is picked and it is also packed now now what you can do is the final step you can also mark this as shipped so once the item is physically out you can simply mark this as shipped now here you can also do one thing as we discussed you can do some partial fulfillments as well so you can change the quantity mm -hmm. here to five. You know, you have this option. Let's say I'm gonna select five here. Okay. I'm gonna select my uh, status quantity internally here as five as well. So instead of 10 now, I'm going to do five. And I'm gonna select ship status. And I'm gonna save it. Now notice that five quantity has been shipped against this uh, sales order. And uh, if I go again on my sales order screen, notice how this uh, sales order status will change. You notice this is now partially fulfilled. And you will see that five quantities just got updated. So five picked, five packed and five fulfilled. So it will, it will automatically change the quantities for you. So now you have done partial fulfillment the order quantity was 10, but you only fulfilled five right now. So this this is basically uh, the, the case I was trying to show you. And now, again, when you're doing another fulfillment, you can simply click on fulfill. And you can create a new fulfillment again. So later uh, down, uh, that day, if you realize that you need to ship again the remaining five, you will see that now the, the quantity remaining is also five. So if I select all the inventory details, Okay, so this is in a good shape and I need to just simply ship them out. And now at this point, I'm not gonna do the pick pack shift. I'm directly doing the shipment just to show you uh, the, the creation of the shipped fulfillment. And I can simply save this. Oh. 
Okay, so notice that this is another item fulfillment that I created against the same sales order. So you don't need to create a sales order again. The same sales order can be used to create multiple fulfillment. And if I go back on the same sales order, notice that 10 quantity was ordered, 10 quantity has now been fulfilled. But if I go in my related records here, this is my related records, and you will notice that there are two item shipment or two item fulfillment created against the same sales order. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can do partial shipment against the same sales order. And once this is uh, fulfilled, you will see that the status of the sales order is now pending billing, which means that you can now start billing against the sales order. And again, billing can also be uh, done in partial uh, status as well. So you can do first uh, uh, billing of five items and then for the remaining five items as well. So I hope that answers your question. Yes.